here, we know today that stopping CKD is not just a matter of catching it early anymore. Science has proven that a GFR improvement is possible at any stage, including stage 4 and 5. People in stage 5 have been documented delaying kidney failure by several years once they took control of the aspects of their lives that really mattered. And you can do the same. Rather than risking end-stage renal failure, you could actually turn the tables and kick those high creatinine levels to the curb. Let's crush it together! So what I want to focus on today are the morning habits that will really help you take control of your health. Now the incredible part. Just a decade ago, we thought that CKD was an unstoppable force. But guess what? We now know that there are good habits we can start to lower our creatinine levels no matter what stage of CKD we're in. By simply adopting a few morning rituals, we can make a huge difference in safeguarding our kidneys. So let's get excited and check out these amazing morning habits that can truly transform our lives. And let's start with one of the most powerful ways of lowering your creatinine levels which is actually a caffeine-free tea you can drink to kickstart your morning. Now, the main element of this tea was used in 22 studies involving 1,323 participants to lower creatinine levels in stage 4 and 5 CKD sufferers. Participants of this study were able to achieve on average a reduction in creatinine level of minus 21.39 micromoles per liter in just 3 months. Which is amazing! The main element in this tea is a root called astragalus. This is something I really recommend to everyone. Now, what makes astragalus extremely powerful is its ability to help those in the advanced stages. Now, astragalus seems to be especially useful for those with diabetes, and we are going to make it even more powerful by adding just a couple of things. In particular, this root you see here is called Remania glutinosa. It was tested in combination with astragalus both in people with CKD and diabetes. The herb targets the kidneys directly, so it is considered very useful, especially for improving the strength of the still working aspects of the kidney. And there is a study in particular in which this remedy was proven able to heal diabetic wounds, but only when combined with astragalus. And we also want to add juniper berry. These berries you see here are a powerful stimulant for the kidneys and bladder. They will help flush out impurities and toxins and, according to research, they will directly increase the rate of kidney filtration. This can help reduce inflammation and swelling. One last thing, this is a powerful anti-inflammatory. Yeah, you guys probably already know about the incredible benefits of turmeric. Turmeric is incredibly powerful because it blunts the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that lead to kidney disease, according to studies. But did you know that studies show that combining curcumin from turmeric and astragalus could improve the glucose and lipid metabolic disorders? Incredible! Time now to see how to prepare a decoction out of these very powerful ingredients. First of all, here you can see the right dosages for the herbs. Now I'll add everything except the turmeric to the mortar and make these remedies into small pieces so they can be used to make the tea. Let's crush it. This is the right quantity for one day or about 30 oz of water. That's a little bit less than a liter of water. To make this tea more powerful, we need to make what the holistic doctors call a decoction. These herbs need to soak in water for 2-4 to four hours before making the tea. Now they are ready to boil. When the water boils, reduce the heat and let simmer for 20-30 to 30 minutes. Strain. Allow the tea to cool and our tea is ready! And this definitely is one of the most effective morning habits you can start. But there's still more we can do. 
What about turning our breakfast into what's probably the best porridge dish for people with kidney issues? This is something I really love because it combines tasty foods into an amazing way to protect your kidneys. Yes, this won't just taste good, it will actually help you. Let's see how. Let's start by warming up some almond milk. This is a great alternative to milk because it doesn't contain any animal-based phosphorus, which is bad for the kidneys. But remember that you want to find a brand that doesn't add any sugar to their product. Double check the label. Then let's add half cup of rolled oats. This food is really great for you despite what some naysayers will tell you because it's a gluten-free whole grain. Rolled oats are also a great source of important vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Also, rich in beta-glucan, a type of dietary fiber with powerful cholesterol-lowering properties. Don't worry too much about the phosphorus in this because it's plant-based. Next, a supplement I always recommend, acacia fiber. I love acacia fiber because it can actually be used to absorb uremic toxins in the intestines. When taken orally in the right daily amount, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and decrease uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. Yes, this supplement directly lowers your creatinine levels and many studies are linking this supplement to huge benefits in all the stages. I also like to take it because it will improve the gut microbiome and that's an easy way to help the kidneys do their job. Acacia fiber is also one of the best prebiotics you can find. Remember that this stuff is so potent, you'll want to start off easy, like a quarter or half dose at first and build up from there. I'm using one tablespoon today but you can start with less. Now guys, if you are not taking acacia fiber already and you want to try it, there's a link down in the description where you can buy it from the best brands. Next, another superfood with amazing properties, cinnamon. Cinnamon is going to make our breakfast taste great, but it will also help people with diabetes. Consuming cinnamon regularly directly improves insulin sensitivity, great to fight high sugar levels. Let's add half teaspoon on top. Next, some berries. I'm using one fourth cup of mixed berries here. This is a great way to add many antioxidants and phytonutrients to our breakfast. Berries are really good for you. They are a powerhouse of vitamins and minerals. Speaking of minerals, the next entry contains one particular mineral that was directly linked to improve GFR in people with kidney disease, Brazil nuts. This is something you want to consume regularly because it's the best source in existence of selenium. Many people are deficient in selenium and this deficiency damages the kidneys. But eating one to two Brazil nuts per day is the easiest way to get enough selenium every day and protect the kidneys. And guys, if you are having troubles finding one or more of these food items, feel free to ask in comment section for substitutions. Maybe I can help you find alternatives. And let me know if you tried this porridge and if you like it. Time now for maybe the easiest morning habit you can start, but that also comes with huge benefits. Number 3. Take vitamin D in the morning One thing that made a huge difference in the study about people improving their GFR in stage 4 and 5 was vitamin D status. While many vitamins are important for you, this one seems to be the most crucial. So many CKD sufferers are deficient in this vitamin, about 8 out of 10, which is a concerning number and this deficiency is actually linked to proteinuria, which can make CKD progress faster. And guys, when it comes to vitamin D, it's crucial that you turn this vitamin into a morning habit. Why is it important to take vitamin D in the morning? Because it can help regulate your circadian rhythm, which is your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin. Our bodies can produce it when our skin is exposed to sunlight. This production regulates the body's internal clock. 
When you take vitamin D in the morning, it helps to signal to your body that it's daytime and can help synchronize your circadian rhythm. This can help improve your mood, overall health and sleep quality as well. Remember that sleep quality is also crucial for kidney health and taking vitamin D the right way can also help with that. Another morning habit that can help with sleep quality and much more. Number two, go for a walk. Did you know that walking can be just as effective as exercising when it comes to lowering blood pressure and improving other important markers? That's right, walking has numerous benefits that are similar to traditional exercise and it's a great way to protect yourself from high sugar levels, cholesterol and hypertension. It's extremely important to find ways to control hypertension naturally. The most common medicines used to treat this condition are linked to kidney damage and hyperkalemia. And walking regularly can help. One of the top benefits of walking is that it can help you burn calories and maintain a healthy weight. Plus, it's a low-impact activity that's easy on your joints, making it accessible to almost everyone. Walking also strengthens your heart, lowers your risk of coronary heart disease. In addition, walking can ease joint pain and prevent arthritis as it helps to improve joint flexibility and circulation. It can also boost your immunity, reducing your chances of getting sick. You don't need to spend hours at the gym or do intense workouts to reap the benefits of exercise. Walking briskly for at least 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week or breaking up your walking time into shorter sessions throughout the day can make a significant difference. Just remember to wear comfortable shoes, stay hydrated and start at your own pace. Even small changes like walking more often or taking the stairs instead of the elevator can make a positive impact on your health. Just one more thing can be even more powerful, another very easy morning habit. Number one, taking garlic on an empty stomach. Garlic has some amazing properties for people with kidney issues. All of them backed by science. Garlic could effectively help you get rid of a hypertension medication and this is key to lowering creatinine levels. But it also helps with sugar levels, with cholesterol and with inflammation. Taking garlic on an empty stomach every morning is probably the best morning habit in the world when it comes to lowering creatinine levels. Remember that garlic needs to be prepared in a special way if you want it to work. The active compound in garlic, allicin, is not present in the clove itself and only forms when the clove is cut or crushed and then left to rest for at least 10 minutes. You can also add olive oil and parsley to improve allicin bioavailability and decrease the odor. And by the way, have you tried my garlic smoothie? This smoothie doesn't just have a wonderful taste, it also makes garlic even better. How? Watch this video to find out. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.